We're having a bonus edition today. We are going to reading from this book, The Money and the Law of Attraction. So as we've been doing, as we're doing every day. And now learning to attract wealth, health, and happiness by Esther and Jerry Hicks, the teaching of Abraham. We are now on page 127. And uh, it's not fun. And also we're going to have some beautiful uh, freedom release methods as well. Releasing and uplifting. Or, or as we say, aligning and uplifting. So good. And uh, it's from that uh, Abraham now. So I've been writing things down from the Abraham now, what she's been saying. Uh, that can be very, very good to release it and, uh, and uplifting and aligning and uplifting more in the energy of it. It is really, really good. Many of those things Abraham share on this um, uh, lives on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays now. So, very, very good. So, let's uh, let's start reading. This is going to be fun. I can feel, I can feel the energy already. So. It's good. Have a beautiful day, Jan. But what if they're in a coma? Have a beautiful day, Scott. Jerry, from time to time, someone will say, I have a friend or family member who's in a coma. Is there anything we can do for a loved one who is in an unconscious state? Abraham, you are communicating with those around you vibrationally, even more than with your words. So even though your loved one may show no signs of recognition, it does not mean that your communication is not being received on some level. You can even communicate with those who have made their physical transition in what you call death. So do not assume that a seeming unconscious state has spared your communication. The primary reason why people remain in a coma or unconscious state is that they are seeking refreshment from the lackful thoughts that have been hindering them. In other words, while they have withdrawn their conscious attention from the details of their normal life, they are in a state of vibrational communication with their own inner being. It is, an, it is an opportunity for refreshment and it's often a time of decision making where they are actually de determining, determining, determining whether they will find their alignment by returning to the non-physical or whether they will awaken again back into their physical body. In many regards, it is not very different from being born into their physical body in the first place. Here is the best attitude for you to hold regarding such people. I want you to do what is important to you. I approve of whatever you decide. I love you unconditionally. If you stay, I will be ecstatic. And if you go, I will be ecstatic. Do what is best for you. That is the best you can do for them. Jerry, and so those people who are in a state like that for many years, they're doing what they want to do? Abraham, most of them, if it is that length of time, made a decision not to return long ago. And someone in the physical overall, their decision and kept them plugged into a machine, but their consciousness has long gone and will not return to this body. Happy beautiful day, Egla and Shani, Shanera. So could I inherit my grandmother's illness? Jerry, I heard people say, I have migraine, head headaches, because my mother had migraine head arches or my mother is overweight my grandmother was overweight and my children are also overweight do some people inherit physical problems abraham what appears to be an inherent tendency is usually the law of attraction response to the thoughts that you learn from your parents however the cells of your body are thinking mechanism also, and your cells like you 
can learn vibration from those around them. However, when you identify a desire and you find thoughts that feel good, which indicate that you are in vibrational alignment with your inner being or source, the cells of your body will quickly align to the vibration of well-being that your positive thought has established. The cells of your body cannot develop negative tendencies that lead to disease when you are in alignment with your source. Your cells can only get out of alignment when you are. Your body is an extension of your form. Your contig contagious, contagious or inherit negative symptoms are supported by your negative form. It could not occur in the presence of chronically positive faults, no matter what diseases have had been experienced by your parents. Jerry, if I hear my mother speak of her head ages, ages and I head ages and I accept that, then I can start having head edges myself. Head edges myself. Edges edges. Okay, cool. Abraham. Whether you heard it from your mother or from any other, your attention to something you do not want will, in time, bring the essence of it to you. The head edge. The head edge is a symptom of resistance to well-being, which occurs when you could, when you hold yourself in vibrational contradiction to well-being of your inner being. For example, worrying about work. Or feeling anger at your government can cause physical symptoms. You do not have to focus upon a head edge to have one. Jerry, if I hear my mother complain of head edges and I con consciously reject that and say, that may be for you, but that's not for me, does that protect me to some degree? Abraham, it is always to your advantage to speak of what you want. But you cannot stay in alignment with who you really are and focus upon your mother's head edge at the same time. Speaking of what you do want while looking at what you do not want does not put you into alignment with what you do want. Take your attention from the things you do not want to attract and put, in, put it upon the things you do want to attract. Focus upon some aspects of your mother that causes you to feel good or focus upon something other than your mother that causes you to feel good. Hi, Ksenia. What is the media's role in epidemics? Jerry. I've been hearing in the media recently that there are free flu shots in town for those who want to go and get them. Will that news affect the spread of the flu virus? Abraham. Yes, it will be of great value to the spread of the flu virus. There is no greater source of negative influence in your environment today than your television. Of course, as in every part of your environment, there is wanted and unwanted, and you do have the ability to focus and therefore to receive value from your television and media. But those sources do bring you a tremendously distorted, imbalanced point of view. They look all around your world for pockets of trouble shining spotlights upon them and magnifying and magnifying them and enhancing the trouble with dramatic music and the funneling it into your living rooms giving you a tremendously distorted picture of the trouble versus the well-being of your planet the constant barrage of medical commercials is a powerful source of negative influence as they explain to you that one out of every five people has this disease lurking, and you are probably the one. They influence you to give thought, and then they say, see your physicon, and when you go to your physicon, 
remember the intent of the physicon is to find something wrong now your negative expectation is born or enhanced and with enough of that influence your body begins to manifest the evidence of those pervasive thoughts pervasive thoughts your medi medicine is more advanced today than ever before and yet more of you are sick than ever before remember to create anything you have only to give thought to it and then expect it and and it is they show you the statistic they tell you the horror stories to stimulate your thought and as you are being stimulated by the thought in great detail you have the emotion the dread the fear i do not want that and one half and one half of the equation is complete then they encourage you to go in for a checkup or to come and get the free flu shots obviously we know it's an epidemic or we wouldn't be offering the free flu shots and that completes the expectation or the allowing part and now you are in the perfect position for the receiving of the flu or the essence of whatever else it is they are talking about you get what you think about whether you want it or not and so it is of great value for you to begin practicing your own story about your well-being so that when the television presents that frightening frightening story one that you do not want to live you can hear their version and feel humor about it rather than fear happy beautiful day Tinica. catch uncomfortable sensations while they're small abraham the first indication that you are disallowing your physical well-being comes to you in the form of negative emotion you will not see a breakdown of your physical body at the first sign of negative emotion but focusing upon subjects that cause a prolonged feeling of negative emotion will eventually cause disease. If you are unaware that negative emotion indicates the vibrational disharmony that is hindering the level of well-being that you are asking for, you may be, like most people, accepting a certain level of negative emotion and feeling no need to do something about it. Most people, even when they feel alarm at the level of negative emotion or stress they are feeling, do not know what to do about it because they believe they are reacting to conditions or circumstances that are outside of their control. And so, since they cannot control those unpleasant conditions, they feel powerless to change the way they feel. We want you to understand that your emotions come in response to your focus. And under all conditions, you have the power to find thoughts that feel slightly better or slightly worse. And, we, and when you consistently choose slightly better, the law of attraction will bring steady improvement to your experience. The key to achieving and maintaining a physical state of well-being is to notice the indicators indicators of discord in the early stages. It is much easier to refocus your thoughts in the early subtle stages than after the law of attraction has responded to chronic negative thoughts, bringing bigger negative results. If you can make a decision to never allow negative emotion to linger within you, and at the same time acknowledge that it is your work alone, work alone to refocus your attention in order to feel better rather than asking someone else to do something different or for some circumstance to change to make you feel better. You will not only be a very healthy person, but you will be a joyful person. Joy, appreciation, love and health are all synonymous. Resentment, jealousy, depression, anger and sickness are all synonymous. 
synonymous, synonymous. <laughs> it's the same there. So, or artritis and artritis, what is that? Artritis or artritis and Alzheimer's disease somehow resolvable. resolvable. Jerry, can the gnarled joints caused by artritis or the memory loss caused by Alzheimer's be resolved? Is it possible to recover recover from those types of illness and whatever age, at whatever age? Alzheimer's. So yeah, Abraham, the condition of the conditions of your physical body truly are vibrational indicators of the balance of your thoughts, and so when you change your thoughts, the indicators must change also. The only reason that some diseases seem stubborn and unchangeable is because your thoughts are often stubborn and unchanging. Most people learn their patterns of counterproductive thought, often based on truths they have witnessed or learned from others, and as they hold stubbornly to those patterns of thought which do not serve them, they then experience the results of those thoughts, and then an uncomfortable cycle occurs where they think about unwanted things, valid, true, unwanted things. And in doing so, by the law of attraction, they prevent wanted things come, from coming into their experience and allow unwanted things to come instead. Then they focus even more upon those unwanted things, causing more unwanted things to come. You can accomplish change in every experience, but you have to begin to see your world differently you have to tell the story the way you want it to be rather than like it is when you choose the direction of your thoughts and conversation by the way they feel as you think them or speak them then you begin to deliberately offer vibrations you are vibrational beings whether you know it or not and the law of attraction is eternally responding to the vibrations you are offering Jerry, can chemicals such as alcohol, nicotine, or cocaine, cocaine, cocaine negatively affect the body? Abraham, your physical wellness is affected much more by your vibrational balance than it is by the things that you put into your body. And even more significant to your question is the fact that from your place of vibrational alignment, you will not feel inclined toward any substance that would uh, detract from, the from that balance. Almost without exception, the seeking of those substances comes from a place of less alignment. In fact, the impulse to participate in those substances comes from a desire to fill the void that is present because of the vibrational imbalance. So, have a beautiful day, Becky. You're so welcome, Tinika. Good night's sleep to you. So good. So, where are we? Let's see. Oh, so much fun. Are exercise and nutrition a health factor? Jerry, does better nutrition or more exercise add to your health? Abraham, you may have noticed that there are those who are very deliberate about food and exercise whose physical well-being is obvious. And there are those who seem to be offering tremendous effort regarding food and exercise who struggle for years to gain benefit and still have no success in maintaining their physical well-being. What you do in terms of action is far less important than the thoughts you think, the way you feel, your vibrational balance, or the story you tell. When you take the time to find vibrational balance, the physical effort you apply will yield you wonderful results. But if you do not tend to your vibrational balance first, there is not enough action in the world to compensate for that misaligned energy. 
from your place of alignment, you will feel inspired to the beneficial behavior, just as from your place of misalignment, you are inspired to de detrimental behavior. Jerry, I remember hearing a line from Sir, Worst, Sir Winston Churchill. He was the British leader during the World War II. He said, I never run if I can walk and I never walk if I can stand, or stand if I can sit, or sit if I can lie, lay down. And he always smoked a big cigar. He lived to be 90 years of age, and as far as I know, was in good health. But his lifestyle was clearly not what we consider today to be healthy. So was it just a belief factor then? Abraham. Living at such an early age, but <laughs> so the reason that so many are confused about the correct behavior for healthy living is because they are only factoring in behavior and they are leaving out the part of the equation that is most responsible for every outcome. The way you think, the emotions you feel, and the story you tell. The way you think the emotions you tell and the story you tell. I say the way you think, the emotions you feel and the story you tell. So good. So what if a healthy person feels mostly tired? Jerry, if a person seems to be in good health but feels tired or listless most of the time, what would you suggest as a solution? Abraham. People often refer that the state of being tired or listless as a state of low energy, and that is really a good way of saying it. While you cannot cut, cut yourself off from your energy source, when you offer thoughts that contradict that source, your resulting feeling is one of resistance or low energy. The way you feel is always about the degree to which you are in alignment or out of alignment with your source. No exceptions. As you tell the story of what you want, which is the story the source within you is always telling, you feel happy and energized. The feeling of low energy is always a result of telling a different story than the expanded source energy part of you is telling it. It's telling. When you tell a story that focuses upon the positive aspects of your life, you feel energized. When you tell a story that focuses upon the negative aspects, you feel you know enervated enervated yeah. you word <laughs> you feel a less energy you can say it that way so when you focus upon the absence of something that you do uh, when you focus upon the absence of something that you desire in your present experience you feel negative emotion when you imagine an improved condition you feel positive emotion the way you feel is always about the relationship between the object of your attention and your true desire. Giving thought to what is wanted will give you the invigoration that you seek. Invigoration that you seek. Ah, so good. So, let's move on. Oh, we're going to read the rest of the chapter here, so... This is good. What is the chief cause of illness? Jerry. So in simple terms, what do you see as the chief cause of illness? Abraham. Illness is caused by giving thought to unwanted topics, feeling negative emotion, but ignoring it, and continuing to focus upon unwanted, such that negative emotion is getting greater but still ignoring it and maintaining it attention upon unwanted until, by the law of attraction, still more negative thoughts and experience, experiences are attracted. Illness exists when you disregard the early subtle signs of misalignments that comes in the form of emotion. If you feel negative emotion and you do not change the thought to relieve the discomfort of the negative emotion, it always gets bigger until 
Eventually, the negative emotion becomes physical sensation, then physical deterioration, deterioration, deterioration. Yeah. However, the illness is only an indication of your vibration, and whenever you you change your vibration, the indicator will change to match the new vibration. Illness is nothing more than a physical indicator of energy out of balance. Many people who are experiencing illness disagree with our explanation of the cause of their illness, being that the law of attraction is responding to their thoughts. As they protest they, that they have as they protest that they have never thought about that particular illness. But illness does not occur because you are thinking about that, that illness or about any illness. Illness is an ex exaggerated, exaggerated indicator of negative thoughts that began as a subtle indicator of negative emotion and grew larger as the negative thoughts persisted. Negative thought is resistance, no matter the subject of the negative thought. That is the reason that new diseases continue to come about and until the actual cause of the disease is addressed there will never be a final cure you have potential for every illness in your body right now and you have potential for a perfect state of health in your body right now and you will soli solicit one or the other or a mi mixture depending upon your balance of thought Jerry, so in other words, from your perspective, there is no physical cause for illness or disease. It's all thought. Abraham, we understand your urge to give credence to action or behavior in, in attempting to explain causes. As you explain where your water comes from, you will be accurate to point to the faucets as the source of the water coming into your kitchen sink but there is much more to the story of where the water comes from that only that the faucet and in like manner there is much more the story about the source of wellness or illness your ease or disease are symptoms of the balance of your fault and that balance will manifest through the path of least resistance as surely as water flows downhill. An example of my old story about my physical well-being. I'm noticing symptoms in my body that worry me. As I get older, I feel less strong, less stable, less healthy, less secure. I worry about where I'm headed health-wise. I try to take care of myself. But I don't see that it has helped that much. I guess it's just normal to feel worse as I, as time goes on. I saw that with my parents, so I'm really worried about my health. Being a little bit funny about it, but it's all good. Now, an example of my well, an example of my new story about my physical well-being. It's all good. My body responds to my thoughts about it and to my thoughts about everything I think about. The better my thoughts feel when I think them, the more I allow my personal well-being. I like knowing that there is some absolute correlation between how I feel and what my chronic thoughts have been, have been and how those thoughts felt as I thought them. I like knowing that those feelings are meant to help me choose better feeling thoughts which produce better feeling vibrations which will produce a better feeling body my body is so responsive to my thoughts and that is such a good thing to know i'm getting rather good at choosing my thoughts no matter what condition i find myself in i have the power to change it my state of physical health is simply an indication of the state of my chronic thoughts. I have control of both. A physical body is an amazing thing in the way it began as a globe of fetal cells to become this full-blown human body. I am impressed with the stability of the human body and the intelligence of the cells 
the make of the human body as I notice how my body accomplished so many important functions without my conscious involvement. I like it, it is not my conscious responsibility to move the blood through my veins or the air through my lungs. I like that my body knows how to do that and does that so well. The human body in general is quite an amazing thing, an intelligent, flexible, durable, resilient, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, thing. My own body serves me very well. I love my exploration of life through my physical body. I enjoy my stamina and flexibility. I like living life in my body. I'm so pleased with my eyes that look out into this world, seeing near and far from where I stand, distinguish shapes and colors with such a vivid perception, perception of depth and distance. I so enjoy my body's ability to hear and smell and taste and feel. I love the tactile, sensual content of this planet and, and my life in my wonderful body. I feel appreciation and fascination for my body's self-patching ability as I watch wounds cover over with new skin and as I discover renewed resiliency when traumas to my body occur. I am so aware of my body's flexibility, my fingers' dexterity, and the immediate response that my muscles show to any task I attempt. I like understanding that my body knows how to be well and is always moving toward wellness. And that as I do not get in the way of that with negative thought, wellness must prevail. I like understanding the value of my emotions and I understand that I have the ability to achieve and maintain physical well-being because I have the ability to find and maintain happy thoughts. On any day in this world, even when some things in my body may not be at their best, I am ever aware that far, 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 far more things are functioning as they, as they should and that the aspects of well-being of my body are dominant. And most of all, I love my body's quick response to my attention and intentions. I love understanding my mind, body, spirit, connection. I love understanding my mind, body, spirit, connections, and the powerful productive qualities of my deliberate alignment. I love living life in my body. I feel such appreciation for this experience. I feel good. There is no right or wrong way to tell your improved story. It can be about your past, present or future experiences. The only criterion that is important is that you be conscious of your intent to tell a better feeling, improve, worsen of your story. Telling many good feeling short stories about telling many good feeling short stories throughout your day will change your point of attraction. Just remember that the story you tell is the basis of your life. So tell it the way you want it to be. So that was the chapter of the physical Let's see here. The chapter of maintaining my physical well-being, the chapter three. So now we are on the chapter four, starting next week. So, so good. So, so good. And more to come. Always. Let's move forward. Oh, this is good. Yes, every cell in our body is connected, source, and rooted in well-being. Yes, feel good. So good, Jen. 
Balance. Pra que yes, balance? Now, let's have some fun with the freedom release method. So, Jen, if you want to, you can write it to the people so they can know about it. But for sure, I will explain it as well before we start. So, I have been taking my time now for a couple of hours to just reading through what I've been writing through the Abraham now from since she started for uh, two weeks ago. In that time. And uh, yeah, it's so much goodness. It's so much newness. It's uh, it's uh, always more more to experience and more to to feel and more to expand in. So uh, I've been read. I've been writing things down there, and I've been uh, then going to do the freedom release method with that. Uh, what she's been saying and what's resonating. So here, so I just follow my my own intuition to, to write things down to what bring what could be bring, good to bring up here and to release and to to align and to uplift and uh so good so um the freedom release method it's uh simple as you take a deep slow breath in and hold it and then i say as you're holding your breath i say a statement as i release all blocks and barriers with and then i say the statement of it and then when I finish you easy and gentle, read it out. And it fills up with that, it's the same. I'm like, and then you take a deep soul breath in and hold it. And then I say, then I say I'm I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation. That and then a statement of, of this, what I've been writing down. And when I finish you easy and gentle, read it out. And uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, it's very, very good. It's uh, uplifting the energy of who you truly are even more if you are allowing it for sure. So, but we are so free to, to be joining in here and, and to doing this pro process together. We're all in this together. Pure all source energy is, is in all of us. So, and it's aligned and it's uh, excited for all of us to come into, into that, to focus in there and, and be stay tuned and tap and turn on more in there more and more as it is meant for us to be as we come forward into this physical body in, with this energy and express yourself with the non-physical the pure laws or en energy in all what we being doing and having here on this planet earth so it's so nice it's so nice and more to come as always there is a never ending union story there is no destination destination it's just a flow forward moving forward more and more and more so so good so let's start with the freedom release method we have now uh 25 minutes around there so it's gonna be a lot a little bit of this but it's good it's good really really good so take a deep slow breath in and hold it i release all blocks and barriers with it's always now Vibrational reality is now. And breathe out. Good. Take a deep slow breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy and appreciation that my vibrational vortex is always available to me now. And breathe out, explaining. I'm not anything you guys, but just vibrational vortex is the pure law source energy. It's already everything that you ever wanted is in the vortex and it's in the feel good now and it's always moving forward. That's the vortex. Always looking forward for becoming more and more and more and expanding and expanding and expanding. And it always feels good. Vortex always feels good so so good so let's move on to the next one i release all blocks and barriers with self-help to my total self and breathe out easy and gentle
This is a good one, so I'll take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that me and myself is one with all that is, my total self. And breathe out, easy and gentle. Take a deep slow breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with being in the receiving mode. And easy and gentle, breathe out. Good. Take a deep slow breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that allowing is natural to me and receiving too. And breathe out easy and gentle. Allowing is easy, it's natural to me. And allowing, when I'm allowing, I always feel good. When I'm allowing, I always feel inspired. When I'm allowing, I feel all these feel good feelings. And it's natural to me. And to receiving more of those experience is also natural to me. It is so, so good. So let's see. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with getting myself into the vortex, maintain it longer, maintain it long enough. And breathe out easy and gentle. So good. Take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that Vortex is always available to me and I can always practice into it more and more. And breathe out easy and gentle. Good. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with finding reasons to feel good. And easy and gentle, breathe it out. Exhale it. Exhale it out. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that I can always find reasons to feel good. And easy and gentle, breathe out. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with myself has been asking. It is aligned. And breathe out. Easy and gentle. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that my cells know what it wants. All is well and breathe out. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with make a decision and line up with that. With making a decision and line up with that.
breathe out. Easy and gentle. Take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that I can practice being in the flow. That's always in the now. And forward. And breathe out. Peace and gentle. It's so nice when we make a decision and line up with that. And we feel the energy of it and then practice to be in the flow of that energy of what we decide we made decision of and lining up with it more and more then we're feeling the flow the energy comes through then we experience it now more and more as we are feeling the allowing us of it to be so nice no take a deep soul breath in and hold it I release all blocks and barriers with being easy about all of this. And breathe out. Being easy about all of this, what's happening right now outside. It's all good, it's all well from the inside, it's always. always. So take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love joy and appreciation that I can only feel for my own freedom and breathe out. I can only feel for my own freedom. It is. I can only feel for my own. You can only feel for your own. Other people can only feel for their own. But with the pure love source energy, we are all in this together in that non-physical but how we are expressing ourselves with the physical, how we are doing things and having things. It's our own. It's, uh, it's our own creation. But how we experience all of these things on the planet Earth. It's, it's me, myself, and you, yourself. So nice to know. So nice to feel. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with let go of things that I can't control. And easy and gentle, breathe it out. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love and joy and appreciation that I can control my focus. And I can. I'm filled with love, joy and appreciation that I can control my focus. That's something I can. Because I know I don't have to think about something unwanted if I want to. I can focus and, and be focused in something else. That's always free for all of us. There is a buffet of things we can, that's what we want and what we don't want, but we don't have to focus on those things we don't like. If there's things we like, we can focus on those things. And more we focus on those things, then more of those things will, will be attracted to us and will be on our buffet, buffet of the, of the table when we see that. It will be more and more of those things and we'll be more focused on those things and attract more of those things, feel more of those things, experience more of those things. So yes, I can control my focus. Good, so let's move on. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with lining up with the pure love source energy. And breathe out. Easy and gentle. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that I can lining up with the pure love source energy anytime, anywhere, now. 
breed out this. Easy and gentle. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that I am allowing myself to move forward. Always, the pure love source energy of who you are is always allowing the non-physical and the physical together as it's, it's focusing there to move forward. Always, the non-physical is physical, the pure love source energy is always allowing myself, me, myself, as one with all of this to moving forward. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that my feelings are forward motions. And breathe out. And what I mean by that, it's that it's always in motion. There's always feelings there. They can change from time to time. Sometimes it feels uh, fun. Sometimes it feels more uh, exciting. Something with different feelings from different moments. But they're always in motions. And it's where we are focusing, where the emotions are, are moving toward more and more. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that there is so much new to come. There is so much new to come. Always. And breathe out. Easy and gentle. Mm. Take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that I want to feel alive. And breathe out. And we all want to feel the energy, feel the energy stream to us and through us. Feeling that we can feel good most of the time. It's natural for us. That, yes, we want to feel that aliveness from within, that we feel the energy comes through and aliving more and more as we are allowing the energy of who we really are to be. And as we are being in that space and feeling it more and more, more it becomes and more it feels and more it be experienced from, from our physical senses, how we are feeling from that aliveness. And everything feels alive in our physical senses and everything in how we are observing things, inspiration and new ideas feels alive and it becomes more as we are observing and as we are focusing in that direction so good so the next one take a deep soul breath in and hold it i release all blocks and barriers with my inner being never looks back breathe out Always looking for a mind. So take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I am filled with love, joy, and appreciation that my inner being always looking forward and my inner being adores me. And breathe out. Easy and gentle. So good. So take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with meditation is a good thing. Appreciation is a good thing. It works, both of them. And breathe out. And take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I feel with love, joy, and appreciation that meditation is a good thing and appreciation is a good thing and both it works and it feels good and natural and breathe out, easy and gentle. 
This is the next one. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with, I never feel lonely when I'm tuned in my inner beingness. And breathe out easy and gentle. So good. Good work, everyone. You're doing amazing. This is good. Energy comes through, easy and gentle. This is no rush, this is no push, this is aligning and shining. Aligning and uplifting. It's just to let you to know your worthiness, that you're worthy all of that you want to be you and have, and that you can stay tuned in to who you really are. Always. It's always available to, to each and every one of us any moment in time. So take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy and appreciation that I always have company with who I really am. And breathe out and see and gentle. I always say on the way, I always have someone to stay with me with who I really am. So, good. Yeah, confidence, that's a good one. I always have confidence with who I am. That's good, so. Good, good, good. Good job, thanks. Happy beautiful day, Kelly. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, let's see. Take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I feel with love and I, I release all blocks and barriers with, I can catch the resistance early. That's so good. A beautiful day, Mitch. And breathe out. I can catch the resistance early. So when we are catching the resistance early, it's good because then we know that, oh, there it is and we can line it up. So now take the next one. We take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy and appreciation that I can line up with the alignment quickly and breathe out isn't that so nice easy and gentle because when you are catching it early when there is a resistance then you can quickly align it as you are practicing it to the, oh there it is and it feels a little bit better and you go quickly into the alignment space again so don't it don't have to last for long as you are moving forward and practicing to be more in alignment but it's also good to know that it's not about to be in alignment 100 percent of the time but we, because we can't be 100 percent of the time huh? in alignment but 70 percent 80 percent 90 look in the way you know where you are right now it, it's all good still it, it really doesn't matter but as more are you, more you're feeling alignment through the day that's good and you're aware of those things that feel good to you good then you you have your own guidance system who guide you on the way in the way that is best to you always so so good so this is the next one let's see where we are uh, this is good this will be the last one then the two last ones there. so take a deep soul breath in and hold it I release all blocks and barriers where everything is available to me as long as I believe it and breathe out. It is. It is. Everything is available to me as long as I believe it. It is. So then we take the next one. 
and take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that I believe is only a fog, a continually thing. I can bridge it and telling a new good, feel good story. Breathe out. Yes, you can, you can. I can, I can. So, I believe it's only a thought I continue to think, and I can bridge it and tell you a new, good, feel good story. I can tell it totally different, and as I'm telling it different, and as I'm feeling it more and more, then everything changes. How the outside, the outside experience, I'm not having the same experience over and over again, because immediately when I feel a little bit better about something, and believing, sort of believing in it, everything changes. And then it's just get better and better it gets better it feels better it gets so yeah uh, this is the last one you take a deep take a deep slow breath in and hold it this is the last one this i'm filled with love joy and appreciation that i can line up with it yes and breathe out that's the last one for me today so i can line up with that because i know i believe it's only for that continual thing i can bridge it to telling a story that feels good and better and better and a story that feels good to me and as i'm telling the story that feels good to me like that i've been reading from a uh, today you know what is my new story and you're telling your story as the way you want it to be and you want to feel that and you feel that energy as you're telling the story then you line up with it and what happening then when you're lining up with the energy of that what you want now the law of attraction will bring it to you and you will experience it more and more and more and more and it is true better it gets better it feels and better it feels better it gets and better it gets better it feels and better it feels better it gets and on and on and on and on and is that the destination that's the fun part it's never a destination it's just on and on and on and on is there a rush or I need to push her that? No, no, no. There is an ease and flow and gentleness and generalness and a way that just like relaxation and chilling out through all this. And then you will be guided on your way. Better you feel, better it gets, better it gets, better you feel. And you will have your inspiring thoughts and inspiring feelings and inspiring ideas that will come to you. And then the thoughts and the everything will come from your feelings. As long as you're lining up with the unconditional love you are, then the inspiring thoughts and ideas and new things will come to you easily. And yes, there is always more to come. So I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And I see you tomorrow. So enjoy. Namaste.